This Good is a standard thing. You know, yes. When people want to fling mud at him, oh, my tradition can say you are worshipping stones. I say, my friend, we are not worshipping stones. We recognize that in order for us to relate to something dramatically, you know, subtle, we require material objects, images and, and, and objects. We use it without any hesitation, without apologizing. Hmm. To get our minds around very subtle ideas, we require some kind of more finite you know, you know, tools. It's natural. You know, look, this thing called spirit or God is, as I told you, something that is not material. Now, how do we grasp it? And as we are material, you know, we have this material frame and these material eyes and all that. We use some, you know, kind of this kind of very, you know, material, you know, physical objects to relate to ideas of subtle, subtle things, subtle ideas. And this is very, again, I will touch on it very clearly. The word prati means going towards. From it, we derive the word pratika and pratima. Prati means going towards the infinite, going towards the spirit. And pratima means an image that will lead me to, lead me to, the image is not infinite, it's very finite, but lead me to pratima or pratika, a symbol that will lead me to the ultimate. So we are very clear, as we have a you know, very finite mind, we require a finite object or finite tools to relate to the infinite. This is still Mr. Lakhani, mm. you know, the, I get challenged. The infinite is infinite, you can't call it finite, mm. this is terrible, how dare you reduce this ultimate reality to these figures that you love and worship, why do you, how dare you, it's infinite, you can't reduce it. Even the Jews have great difficulty with the Hindu images. In fact, or some Jewish friends. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised. I can take Muslim friends to a Hindu temple. Some of them do come. Mm. But the Jewish fellows have nothing doing, Mr. Lakhani. We won't step in. They say we can't go near any of these images mm. because written in our scriptures, thy shall not make graven images of thy God and you are doing that. So you can't come anywhere near. They won't come. I'm telling you. I'm very surprised. I thought they'd be very liberal. I said, no problem. Let's watch how you interact with spirituality or, or in approach the idea of spirituality. They won't. So what is going on? As I said, we are using finite objects to relate to the idea of infinite and we are not apologizing for it. You can say, oh, we are worshipping stones. We are not worshipping, we are using stones to worship the infinite. Really? No, no, no. Uh -huh. There's one, I must, I must cut it in because this is, this, is, this is a killer. Yes. Suppose you are doing mathematics. Uh -huh. You can't do any mathematics without the word zero yes. and without the, the word infinite. Mm. If you are doing differential equation, it must be infinitesimal or if you are giving a, a, a arithmetic series or geometry, you must, it must go up to infinite. If essential, all your equations will have in going to infinite. Ask a boy who's doing mathematics, say, come on, put infinite on the blackboard. He said, no problem. He'll go and put it to squiggle. Said, that's infinite. I said, that's not infinite. That's number eight. That had too much drinking last night. Mm -hmm. He's lying side, sideways, sideways. That's not infinite. That's number eight. You've fallen down. He said, no, you know what I mean. I said, no, what do you mean? But what you've done is not infinite. He said, what have you done? Without that, that twiddle, you can't do half your mathematics. It's a symbol only. And a symbol that a relational idea of infinite. So the infinite itself is, requires a symbol which is finite. So if in the mathematics you can't help yourself, why, how, why can't the Hindus do it in, in, our, in our own you know, religion? So we are using this finite symbol to relate to the idea of infinite without any apology whatsoever. And in another issue I must raise, every tradition, sometimes they think, no, we don't use that. Oh, you do. Check out every religion, every tradition. Check it out. I won't go through the whole list. Suppose you go to a Christian church, there's a wooden cross and they're bowing down. It's a wooden cross. No, it's just Christianity. Suppose you go to a Jewish, uh, Jewish uh, you know, synagogue, there's a little ark, a little chest, you know, wooden chest with little doves on the side. They say, this is the ark. We can't touch it even. Why? Sacred. See, you've given sacred status to a little chest, wooden chest, and you're saying we are idolatrous. So this idea of idolatry or this mm. worshipping object is something that I really despise and a fire back. The worst form of idolatry according to Hinduism is idolatry of the book. Mm. You're fixed on the book, you can't think for yourself. That's the worst form of idolatry, not these images. They are lovely, colourful ways of relating the idea of infinite. So be it. <laughs> so really? yeah, I went to because this thing has been bugging me a lot. <laughs> and I get this all the time. How dare you worship objects and you know, stones and so. but everybody is using this imagery to relate to something higher.